I was born with it, that's just me. It's, I am who I am and it, it, there wasn't like a moment of, oh, I had this, well, no. Like, I, I was Fran, I always am Fran. I was born from in a farm, on a farm, up north, so hopefully the accent is still there. School was competitive. Even when I was a child, like it was always a big objective for me. I always wanted to push myself um, from an academic perspective. It was my main focus always until tennis started to uh, to evolve and I started to evolve with the sport. Obviously, I have EEC syndrome, and I'm not going to go through the whole name of it because it's actually really difficult. The abbreviation is far easier. There wasn't like a moment of oh, I had this. Well, no, like. I, I was Fran, I always am Fran. It didn't change anything for me, it didn't change my approach. I just had, you know, like any kid, things that I was dealing with and it was as simple as that and I dealt with it. Of course, you know, I'm not saying it was the easiest thing on the planet. No, there's, the, you know, there's challenges with that, but everyone has their challenges. When I was about seven or eight, I started to play a little bit more. Having gone through the operations, I, I, I was going through in that moment and then uh, and prior to that, we did go to my doctor and say, hey, like, she's actually starting to pick us up on quite a consistent level. And that was when I was limited by someone or there was an attempt to limit me and that just kind of pushed me even further to, to commit. Everyone has defining moments in their career and, and of course that's a moment where I realised that um, I wanted to push myself but I never thought I'm pushing myself because of what I've been told. I thought, well someone's just telling me I can't do something and I actually think I can so I'm very intrigued by my own capabilities, whatever those are. I knew that I had um, uh, a mentality where I was going to you know, pick at every little detail and, and make sure every corner was covered. I spoke to the, the, the coach who was looking after me at that age and he said that he didn't think he could take me that far and then um, he'd recommended Spain or the US. So yeah, ten, nine going on 10, I found myself suddenly living in Barcelona. It's a risk at a young age, There's, you know, it comes with its, its benefits, but it also has um, you know, its challenges like any large, you know, huge decision you make in your life. It's given me a lot, I'm, you know, I'm bilingual as well, and um, I've had the, the, the pleasure to live in a different culture, but having said that, I stay true to my northern roots, that's for sure. Oh, what a turn. I think one of my biggest strengths is my independence and my ability to, to problem solve by myself, um, you know, when you're you're know, living with a family that don't speak the same language and you, your parents are in a different country. You can often find yourself kind of challenged by something in front of you that you don't know how to deal with as a nine-year-old. But I think for me, um, when I step on court, I know that I can be on there alone and I trust myself to deal with the situations. Of course, having a coach is always helpful for the moral support, but at the end of the day, it's just you and the racket on the court, so. I'm very privileged to be able to step on a court every day and, and, and this be my job, something that keeps me healthy, it gives me an objective every day. I think there's only one goal and that's ultimately to just fulfil my potential in whatever I'm setting myself out to do and give myself the best platform to do that.